Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Paul Crozier. I'm with the, the Executive Council, and I'll be your MC for today's ceremony. His Honor, uh, Russ Morasti, Lieutenant Governor of Saskatchewan, will be arriving shortly. When, when, he, when he gets here, I will ask you to stand and remain standing for the playing of the Vice Regal Salute. Just a reminder, the Vice Regal Salute is not to be sung. Following the Vice Regal Salute, please remain standing for the singing of the Royal Anthem. Uh, while we're waiting, can I, just, can I just remind everybody to ensure your cell phones are turned off during the ceremony? Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Please join in singing of God Save the Queen. Please be seated. Premier, I now invite you to present to the Lieutenant Governor those members of, exec of the Executive Council maintaining their current responsibilities, those members assuming new responsibilities, and your nominees for Executive Council. Thank you very much, Paul. Good morning, everyone. Uh, Your Honour, always a pleasure to uh, see you, even on a morning, uh, in particular on a morning uh, like this. Uh, welcome, everyone. Honour, uh, Cabinet colleagues, um, welcome uh, here this morning. This uh, most certainly is a day of renewal and change in the life of our Saskatchewan government. Very soon, we will have a new Cabinet with the responsibility of ensuring that Saskatchewan continues uh, to move forward, continues to grow, and continues to be the place where hope and opportunity are always found. I want to congratulate each and every one of you here today. It will be my great privilege to serve alongside you as we work to provide uh, the leadership that is worthy of the people that we serve in Saskatchewan. And I am very grateful that you have agreed to the duties that have been put before you serving in Cabinet. Uh, many will be serving as legislative secretaries. Um, it most certainly is not an insignificant commitment. And the veterans in our Cabinet can attest to the workload. They can attest uh, to the long hours and to a, a Premier who at times uh, could be just a, a touch demanding. But this is a challenge that we happily and willingly embrace because we all love this province so very much. And we are humbled by the confidence that is placed by the people of Saskatchewan in our government. We have an understanding of what we need to do on behalf of the people that we collectively serve. The people of Saskatchewan have made very clear what their expectation is. They want an honest, responsive, and effective government. A government that enhances our opportunity and will defend our ability to achieve it when necessary. And that is what we will provide in the years ahead. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we take our duties at this uh, critical moment in our province's history very seriously. We're just emerging from a global pandemic. We're dealing with, yes, the after effects of that pandemic, particularly in health care, where we are making significant major investments. And there are new challenges that are facing the world. In particular, the challenge created by Russia's brutal invasion of Ukraine. Uh, with those challenges are opportunities for the world as well. Now more than ever, countries around the world are, are looking for energy security. Countries around the world are looking for food security. They are searching for reliable, trustworthy trading partners. And they are wanting to buy resources and expertise from jurisdictions that share their values. And I think recent events have underscored just how indispensable Saskatchewan and, and even Western Canada are to the rest of the world. Not only as a supplier of food, fuel and fertilizer, but also as a supplier of rare earth elements that are in now in demand across the globe. Uh, colleagues, uh, we have an opportunity that lies ahead of us. We have a responsibility to be the supplier of choice to provide that very food security and that very energy security. First for Canada and Canadians, our fellow Canadians. Second for uh, our fellow North Americans across the, continental, uh, the continent of North America. And lastly, to be part of providing that food security and that energy security to the world. We can do this in Saskatchewan and in Western Canada. And today we're in a strong position to take advantage of this opportunity because in this province our, our economy is back on track. We are growing again in this province. A record amount of investment is now flowing into communities across Saskatchewan. We are moving towards the objectives that we had laid out in our growth plan a couple of years ago. And with that strong economy, we are able better to, we are able better to support the, the services and the programs that the people of Saskatchewan not only expect, but quite frankly, the people of Saskatchewan deserve. These are the dividends of growth. Ladies and gentlemen, it's, it's hard for us not to get excited about what lies ahead for, for our great province. It's hard actually for me not to get fired up whenever I, I speak about it. And many can attest to that. We have every reason to be optimistic about the future of our province. The people that we serve are, are so very energetic. They are ambitious. They are builders. They built, their forefathers built our communities where we live. And it's our job as a provincial cabinet to support them in every way that we can. It's our job to defend them when necessary. And it's our job to provide good, solid governance for the people of Saskatchewan. If we do that, if we hold up our side of the bargain, I have no doubt that the next decade will most certainly be Saskatchewan's decade. We will build a strong and growing province for this generation, and we will build a strong and growing province for generations to come. So with that and my welcome of all of you here today, Your Honour, I have the honour to confirm the appointment of the Honourable Donna Harpower, a member of the Executive Council, to remain as Deputy Premier and Minister of Finance. Your Honour, I have the honour to confirm the appointment of the Honourable Don Morgan, QC, a member of, ex of the Executive Council and to remain as the Minister of Labour Relations and Workplace Safety, Minister of Crown Investment Corporation, Minister of Responsible for Sask Energy Incorporated, Minister Responsible for Saskatchewan Gaming Corporation, Minister Responsible for Saskatchewan Government Insurance, 
Minister responsible for Saskatchewan Power Corporation, Minister responsible for the Saskatchewan Water Corporation, Minister responsible for the Saskatchewan Telecommunications, and Minister responsible for the Saskatchewan Workers' Compensation Board. That's it. <laughs> There's nothing left. <laughs> Your Honour, I have the honour to recommend the appointment of the Honourable James Ryder, a member of Executive Council as Minister of Energy and Resources. Your Honour, I have the honour to confirm the appointment of the Honourable Dustin Duncan, a member of the Executive Council, and to remain as our Minister of Education. Your Honour, I have the honour to confirm the appointment of the Honourable Christine Tell as a member of the Executive Council and to remain as Minister of Corrections, Policing and Public Safety and Minister Responsible for the Firearms Secretariat. Your Honour, I have the honour to recommend the appointment of the Honourable Gordon Wyant QC, a member of Executive Council as Minister of Advanced Education. Your Honour, I have the honour to confirm the appointment of the Honourable Jeremy Harrison, a member of Executive Council as House Leader, and to remain as Minister of Trade and Export Development, Minister of Immigration and Career Training, Minister Responsible for Innovation, and Minister Responsible for Tourism Saskatchewan. Your Honour, I have the honour to confirm the appointment of the Honourable David Merritt, a member of the Executive Council, to remain as Minister of Agriculture and Minister Responsible for the Saskatchewan Crop Insurance Corporation. Good. 
Your Honour, I have the honour to confirm the appointment of the Honourable Bronwyn Eyre, a member of the Executive Council as Minister of Justice and Attorney General. Needs another one. You have to sign again. He needs another. No, he needs another photo. Seriously, Broadway. I'll bring her in right now. Hey. She can sit down again. She can sit down again. On picture. Can you sit down one more time? We just missed the photo. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Can you sit one more time? <laughs> the first female Minister of Justice in the province of Saskatchewan. We need a photo. Your Honour, I have the honour to confirm the appointment of the Honourable Paul Merriman, a member of the Executive Council, and to remain as the Minister of Health. Your Honour, I have the honour to recommend the appointment of the Honourable Jean Makowski as member of the Executive Council and as Minister of Social Services. Your Honour, I have the honour to recommend the appointment of the Honourable Laurie Carr, a member of the Executive Council, as Minister of SAS Builds and Procurement, Minister responsible for the Public Service Commission, Minister responsible for Saskatchewan Liquor and Gaming Authority, and Minister responsible for the Global Transportation Hub Authority.
Your Honour, I have the honour to confirm the appointment of Mr. Don McMorris, a member of the Executive Council, and to remain as Minister of Government Relations, Minister responsible for First Nations, Métis and Northern Affairs, and Minister responsible for the Provincial Capital Commission. Your Honour, I have the honour to confirm the appointment of the Honourable Laura Ross, a member of the Executive Council, and to remain as Minister of Parks, Culture and Sport and Minister responsible for the status of women. Your Honour, I have the honour to confirm the appointment of the Honourable Everett Hindley, a member of the Executive Council, and to remain as the Minister of Mental Health and Addictions, Seniors and Rural and Remote Health. I thought I was missing one. <laughs> Your Honour, I have the honour to recommend the appointment of Mr. Jeremy Cockrell, a member of the Executive Council as Minister, uh, Minister of Highways and Minister responsible for the Saskatchewan Water Security Agency.
Your Honour, I have the honour to recommend the appointment of Mr. Dana Scorpad, a member of the Executive Council as the Minister of Environment. Your Honor, I now invite you to witness these signatures. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll now ask you to rise before we conclude our ceremony for the singing of O Canada. We'll follow that with the departure of his honour and I'll ask you to remain standing for that part.
Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. You may be seated. That actually concludes our formal ceremony. Uh, there, is a, there is a reception been set up in Sir Richard Lake Hall, which is in the hallway as you came in. I invite you to, to uh, partake in that. And I will ask the ministers to stay in this room uh, for a short period while we get the official portrait taken. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. I'm doing it there. I'm in front of the flags. So Alicia, 